myopic dissonance. Look it up. I may put the word here. I may not. Essentially, this is a state where people are looking at something from their own framework. I'll give you an example. When I was in the military, all of the NCOs, non-commissioned officers, used to like, you know, if you're just like, I'm not an officer. I work for a living. That tribalism bullshit that for some reason making less money, being exposed to more danger, taking the bullets first was somehow more of a noble pursuit than making more money and having your ass in the rear. I don't understand that. Well, I didn't understand it at the time, but I do understand it now. It's rooted in this, this uh, tribalism and this myopic dissonance. It's like you're so focused on building yourself up, trying to be something you're not, that you actually have a very fucked up thought process. It's crazy. I work for a living. Or, or you know, people hate me because I'm on YouTube and I don't have a job. I'm damn proud of that. I don't have a job. I haven't had a job in a long fucking time. And plan they really don't plan on getting one. So, looking at that in the comments, get off of YouTube. Get a real job. Be like me. Miserable unhappy as a mofo, stressed out, broke, and not really doing any of the stuff that you really want to do with your life. Yeah, be like me. Stop being like you, free, making money, being on YouTube, having control. No, no, fuck that. Come down to my level because I don't have enough talent nor perspective to come up to yours. Hey, what's going on? Just letting you know, there's some new updates to Hustler Universal Life Skills. Um, got the Craigslist stuff going on. And what I'm going to do, and I'm going to finish up all of that Craigslist stuff before I move on to the credit profile, the uh, credit, how to build up your credit. Because there's a lot of people who really need help with this stuff, and they're just not really getting it. So right now, we're doing Craigslist. Like today, the section that will be up, maybe before this video or after this video, will be dealing with... How to make money with no money. Thanks to Cleaver, who was part of the original cool kids of the first 30 days to 2500. Pretty much expanded on his concept, used it to Craigslist, and give you a step-by-step -step method on how to do what he did. So if you want to get in there, get in there. Also, um, I'm going to work really hard to make Hustlers University life skills super, super tight. There's going to be a ton of cool stuff in there. Every day I've got my list, I'm adding stuff. And essentially, you could think of me of the dad, the big brother, or that cool-ass uncle that you didn't have who's going to drop some knowledge on you because I did have a cool-ass uncle that drops some knowledge on me. And I did have a cool-ass grandfather that drops some knowledge on me. And I'm really grateful for that. But I realized there are many people who don't have that shit. I had several freaking mentors growing up. But many people are in that state of where they got to figure this shit out for themselves. So instead of you figuring it out for yourself, I'm going to give you a leg up because essentially, you know, I do believe you should be cash and carry. You should be carrying some Ben Franklin's with you at all times. But also, I think your credit needs to be straight because you got to live in both worlds. And what many hustlers or disruptive entrepreneurs do is try to live in one. And that shit comes back to bite you in the ass because you're not handling your business. If you're cash and carry, you should have bulletproof and perfect credit because you're cash and carry. You should do that. And I'm going to teach you step by step how to build it, how to fix it, what bullshit secured cards you need to stay away from, what banks have got it going on. And I'm going to drop all of that stuff in there because we are about to go through some serious doo-doo end of this year, 2015, beginning of 2016. When gas dropped down, I got like a chill. I was just like, you know, this is um, this ain't right. This ain't right. This is this is this is not right. So, I think that collectively, if we do these things, and also for all of those, I, I'm doing something totally different with hustling university life skills. I am not raising the price of hustling university life skills because it's ninety nine bucks. I'm gonna leave it that there for the end of, until the end of the month. And the day is 20-something, 20th, 21st. So my goal is every day to add some special content and some goodies for you. Because if I didn't have mentors and I didn't have people, you know, growing up, my Amos McDaniel, my grandfather, 
all these folks who, you know, my uncle James Cameron, all these folks who said, look, young man, this is what you need to do. And, you know, I was a little knucklehead and I didn't really get it, but at least I had that stuff to learn from and to reflect on and then have in my mental toolbox to draw from it later on in life. Some of y'all, bullsh, y'all ain't got that. You just don't. And I see this a lot with young guys when I had the uh, storage auction business and I would just see this with so many guys that come in and get out. They didn't know what the hell was going on. They didn't know what time it was. And, oh, when I do the dating course, you're going to love that shit. I've helped out three people with this stuff. And it seems counterproductive and counterintuitive. But you got to understand, just like you were lied to about college and working hard and investing your money, because that works for a small percentage of people. And we look at that small percentage of people and we say, whew, that's the, that's the norm. That's the, no, that's the exception to the rule. Rich folks don't have money in the stock market unless they're controlling companies. They have fucking annuities. It's a whole different ball game on creating wealth and making money. And we'll talk about that stuff because one of the deals with the life skills is you need to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to present stuff. You need to learn how to build stuff. So I'm going to make that part of Hustle University life skills established in 2015. It's going to rock out. It's going to be fun. So you want to be there. And you can go ahead, get in, and I was yeah, for the people who are doing international, I've got... You know, they'll be here, here, you know, somewhere in here. I'll put different payment options. Like if you use Square, that's for the United States only. Um, you'll have the gum rope option if you're international, and I would use the stripe option also if you're international. So I'll just list those there. International, and right now, everyone is in founder status because I'm building this up, and it's still Hustle University Life Skills is still in beta status. So I'm just going to rock out, put content every day to the end of the month. So there's going to be something cool. There's going to be something nice. There's going to be something sexy and helpful for you. So go ahead. You want to get in on that. Like I said, it's going to be goodies, special things. And I'm actually proud of this product because I know what it's going to do for people. And I know what the mentorship that I got from the men in my life did for me. And essentially, masculine energy. And like I said, there's a lot of women. Welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. But a lot of guys are falling for that Ambi Bambi bullshit of you got to be this beta wimp psychophant. Otherwise, if you're too masculine, somehow you're an abuser. And that's just bullshit. And I'm going to tell you how to walk that line and make those moves. All right. This is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side. And be sure to go ahead and become a founder of Hustle University Life Skills Academy.